When posting a new video to YouTube or from YouTube and embedding it on your website, YouTube by default will pull in a bunch of what it deems to be related videos. When you're embedding a video on your website or any of your owned media, you definitely don't want a bunch of related videos that you can't control appearing at the end of your YouTube video. Here's how to stop that from happening, both on new videos that you're embedding and on ones that you've already embedded into your site. First, let's do the easy one. If you're embedding a new video, you can go to the video that you're ready to embed on YouTube, go down to Share right here under the title, go to the Embed function, and include the Show More button. Once you get the Show More option, you can see that more options appear down here. The first one you want to uncheck, so show suggested videos when the video finishes. Uncheck that button. After doing that, go pull your code in and you can embed it wherever you would like. All right, so that's for, for new videos. Now if you have existing videos that are already on your website and you want to stop it from pulling in the related video function, here's an example of what it looks like. So this video is on my blog and after it's finished, it starts pulling in random videos that YouTube has deemed relevant. So we're going to go look at the back end of this post and fix it so it doesn't do that anymore. Okay, so here's the code for the YouTube video right at the top here. So here's what you need to pay attention to. You'll find that there's a reference to the actual link and you'll see where it says youtube.com, embed, and then you'll see the rest of it. At the very end of that URL string, before the little quotes, put your cursor there. And you want to add a question mark if there's not already one there. So let's pretend there wasn't. Add a question mark and then REL equals sign zero. That's all you gotta do. That REL equals zero tells YouTube not to pull in related videos. Make sure you hit update to change your code, and then go back to your video, hit refresh, and test it. And we won't test it all the way through, but a shortcut for testing is to just drag, drag the YouTube cursor all the way to the end of the video, and then you'll be able to see if anything comes up when it ends naturally, and it will not. Thanks so much, hope this helps.